parent orientation. It looks like there's almost seven of us, which is pretty amazing. Um, I'm Kim Brown. I'm the president CEO of Girls Inc. And this is my daughter, Ember, who will also be participating in the summer. Um, and thank you all for joining us. We muted you for now. There will be an opportunity for you to talk in a little while. Um, but we've muted you just so there's so many on there. Or there's so many of us on this call. Um, so just a quick couple of minutes for me, and then we'll turn it, we'll turn it over to Madonna. Um, thank you for going on this adventure with us. We know this is not exactly what any of us wanted to be doing, but we are thrilled to be able to offer you some sort of programming this summer. And I think um, I or I think it's going to be a great experience, definitely a learning experience. Our staff have done a really, truly amazing job of putting together a summer program that's dynamic, that's interactive, that keeps your girls engaged. Um, and I'm really proud of them. And so a huge thank you to the staff for working so hard to make this happen. Um, we've really worked hard on making sure that we capture the essence that is Girls Inc. and bring that to the summer program. So um, you all can enjoy it. So thank you all for joining us today. And um, I'm really excited that we can offer this opportunity while we can't be in person and until we can be in person. Um, if that opportunity opens up this summer, that would be great. Um, and I also feel like we will continue to offer virtual programs in some sort of environment as we move forward. Um, because we'll be able to serve girls in this way that wouldn't normally be able to attend our center. Um, I am happy to say that we're putting about $50,000 worth of work into the building to get it prepared for when we're able to move back in person. Um, and that work is starting next week. Um, and yeah, so let me turn it over to Madonna. Um, there'll be more time for questions in just a little bit. Um, Ember says thumbs up. And uh, thank you for joining us. Madonna, go ahead. Hey there, everyone. Um, Great. So just as Kim said, my name is Madonna Hernandez. I am the director of programs and I am also super duper excited about this opportunity to host you all for our first virtual summer camp orientation. It's really, really strange and also really exciting. There's been so many new things for us um, every single day and lots and lots of troubleshooting. So I appreciate your patience with us as we move through this process. Um, so I just want to point out, you know, whenever we first found out that we not we might not be able to see our girls in person, you know, a lot of our staff are really sad by the situation of not being able to have that in-person summer experience because 65 years of that is a huge deal. And really where we were feeling, you know, that feeling of just missing the girls already before they were even in our building. And now they're not in our building, but they are here on the screen and we're super excited about it. Um, so let's see. So I just wanted to say that, um, you know, we have done our best to create the most engaging program that we could possibly create. Um, we have taken into account um, feedback from families based on how online learning has been going with families and with schools. Um, and we really want to make sure that this is not like school at all. So girls, those of you who are here on the call, we don't want to feel like school. We want to have a good time. We want to have as much fun as possible. We want to laugh. We want to run around. We want to dance. We want to do art activities. We want to do science activities. We want to have a good time. So if there's something that you're feeling excited about with your group, it's something we want you to tell your facilitators so that way maybe they can bring fun stuff in for you. Okay. Um, we also took into consideration um, all of the other situations that families have mentioned, um, just about um, just girls being on the screen all the time that has been a big one for them. And so really, we want to make sure that we are offering programs on a daily basis, but also making sure that it's not an all day thing. So we're going to be working with your girls for a certain amount of time every single day. And opening up time throughout the day for your girls to be able to get outside and play and, you know, be with you and have fun adventures because that's really what summer is all about. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is we are actually going to jump into uh, meeting all of our management team and our program facilitation team. And then um, we're going to go through some more details. And in the end, then you're going to have an opportunity to ask questions. So um, why don't we go ahead and just get started with uh, Lori. Hi, everybody. It's so awesome to see all of you, friends I haven't seen in a long time and friends that are part of our after school program. It's just awesome. And some new faces, too. 
I am the program manager for our three youngest groups this summer, and I am very excited not only for the things we're going to be able to do together, but this is like a new adventure that we get to do together. So I'm so excited that you're a part of that adventure and all of the things that we're going to be able to do together and really looking forward to our virtual field trips. I'm excited about that. And yeah, we can pass it on to Becky. Awesome. Thank you, Glory. Um, hello everyone. It is awesome to see so many faces on here right now. It's making me really excited for this summer to see all of you girls on here. Um, so my name is Becky. I'm the program manager for the two older groups this summer. Um, and I'm super excited. I know our facilitation team has worked really hard and come up with some amazing activities to share with you all. Um, and I'm particularly excited about an activity I saw on Sandra's um, schedule that is called Recycled Trinky Dinks, and I'm excited to see what that is all about. Um, and I'm also just really happy that we can continue um, connecting as a girls in community throughout the summer. So I think it's going to be pretty awesome. And now is Natalie. Hello, my name is Natalie, um, and I am the Indigenous Programs Coordinator, um, but I will be working with girls ages five to six this summer. And I am super excited because we are going to have so much fun because I love to dance, and we're going to dance all summer long, and I'm particularly excited about um, being able to dance like sunflowers. I think we can all learn to be sunflowers together. So I'm really excited to be able to dance with you guys this summer. And I'm going to pass it on to Allie. Thanks, Natalie. Hi, girls. I'm Allie. I'm super excited to see all of you. This is so exciting. Oh, my gosh. We're going to have so much fun this summer. I'm going to be working with the ages 7 to 8-year-olds. And really, we have so much planned this summer that we get to do and it's going to be such a good time. I'm really excited to go on a virtual tour of the Great Barrier Reef. Like, if we were doing this in person, we would not be able to do that. So that's going to be super, super cool. So I'm very excited to see all of your faces on Monday. Hello to the girls that are going to be in my group. It's going to be such a good time. And I'm going to hand it off to Nina. Go ahead, Nina. Thanks, Allie. Hello, everybody. It's so good to see you. Um, I will be working with the eight and nine year olds, um, more or less, and I am excited to make astronaut food. Um, yeah, I'm excited to squeeze some astronaut food into my mouth. It's going to be fun. Um, Sandra, it is your turn now. <laughs> Thank you, Nina. Hi, I'm Sandra. I'm offsite coordinator. Um, I'm going to be working with 10 and 11 year olds this summer, and I'm super excited to explore the world on our virtual field trips. And also, I was really excited for Shrinky Dinks, too, some recycled Shrinky Dinks. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm going to hand it off to Maggie now. Thanks, Sandra. Hi, everyone. I'm Maggie. I'll be working with the oldest group. And I'm really looking forward to it. It's really good to see all of you. I'm really excited how many of you are on this um, orientation call. It's really awesome. Um, I'm looking forward to getting to know all of you really well, but also um, I have a really fun activity about leaving no trace um, in nature and in our own nature. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna pass it on to Gwen. Hello, everybody. It's so good to see you all. I can't stop smiling. Um, I am Gwen. I am the substitute for this summer. And I'm, I'm really excited about like all of the programs that I've seen so far, all the activities that the facilitators have planned. Um, but I think especially excited for the virtual tours of like the museums and the Great Barrier Reef and all these international tours that you guys wouldn't normally be able to do. And also the activities about like getting in the dirt and planting stuff sounds really awesome as well. 
Um, and I think I'm passing it off to Sarah. No? Healy. Healy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Glenn. Hi, everyone. It is so great to see so many faces on this call. I miss everyone. Um, and yeah, so sorry. My name is Keely. I am the data coordinator. Parents, a lot of you have been getting emails from me. Um, and I will be one of the people you contact if you have any questions. Um, and one of the things I'm looking forward to is all the virtual field trips. Uh, you guys are going to get to see so many cool things that you wouldn't have gotten to see doing in-person um, programming. So it's going to be super fun. Uh, and I'm going to hand it off to Sarah. Hello, everyone. My name is Sarah. I'm the program coordinator for Girls Inc. of Santa Fe. I am going to be supporting all of the people on the screen um, and helping everyone out with their technology, with their field trips, with everything that's going on. I am super excited about all of the different and creative ways that the facilitators are finding to, for everyone to be active during the summer. Because just because we're on a computer screen doesn't mean we can't be active. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so that's me, and I am going to launch a poll real quick. This poll is for the parents. Uh, it's a question about how, what your memories of summer camp. So I'm just going to launch this poll, and it's a real simple question. Parents, do you have fond memories of attending summer camp when you were a child? So you can just enter your answer. And when we've got a majority of people, we'll look at the results. It's just one of the exciting things we can do on Zoom. Ask everybody a question at the same time. Let's see, 53% of the people here have answered. Now it's 61%. It's an exciting count up. Ooh. And staff, you're welcome to answer as well if you'd like. Get to answer because the poll is on my screen. It's a bummer. All right, we're so close. I'm going to give it 10 more seconds and then I'll close the poll and we'll see what we've got. All right, just about everyone has responded. So I'm going to go ahead and end the poll and share the results. Look at that, so many people have fond memories of attending summer camp when they were a kid. That's fantastic. All right, here we go. All right, Madonna, it's back to you. Madonna, you're muted. <laughs> I'm muted. All right, I'll start over. Sarah, thank you so much for running that poll. Um, it really took me back to just thinking about what that looked like for me as a kid. Um, I mentioned earlier that I actually didn't get to go to summer camp because I had so many cousins and my parents would have said to me, well, you go to summer camp every day because you're with your cousins all the time. So, you know, it's really about the people and the things that we're doing and, and you know, how we're engaging, right? What's going to make the most engaging time for the girls. Um, what's going to create those special memories, right? So, our uh, our grownups, right? Us facilitators, we can bring all kinds of really fun things, but we also want to make sure that we're in spaces with girls who are also having a good time. And we also want to make sure that we're doing engaging activities and we're learning and we're growing and we're not becoming stagnant. It's super important. And so just to talk a little bit about we, you know, we have put girls into groups. Um, we actually are keeping our groups at about eight girls or less with each facilitator for each time slot. Um, so we have gone ahead and we have kept in mind all of the time requests and the friend requests that, you know, all of the families have requested. Um, it was definitely a bigger task than we actually had anticipated. Um, so many different moving pieces. And I must say, Keely, your brain is beautiful and you've been able to match up so many different things. So thank you. Um, so yes, I just wanna say thank you so much for your patience as we figure out all of these moving parts. And so some of you may be in time slots that maybe 
weren't your first choice. We tried to do our best to be able to plug people in where we could. Um, we did try to make sure that girls were with a friend, at least one of their friend requests, just so that way we can continue um, to make sure that we're creating that space. Now we are open for conversations. We do encourage families to, to try and wait for an adjustment period and see how it goes. Um, however, we do understand that some timing situations may actually impede you from being able to uh, do your job. So we do understand when you do reach out to us, if you can just specifically let us know what's going on. Um, but just keep in mind, you know, there are so many different moving pieces. So your patience with this is, is greatly appreciated. Um, so I uh, just wanted to let you all know just some logistical pieces. So we do have girls in groups of eight or less. Um, they are scheduled at the same time. That's Monday through Thursday, and that's for 90 minutes. Uh, we have done our best to make sure that during that 90 minutes, because that is a long time when you're thinking about a young person, um, we made sure to schedule out that entire 90 minutes with lots of engaging fun things. So, you know, we'll do a check-in and we're going to play a game and we're going to do an activity supply check and we're going to do an activity and then we might do another game. So your girl will hopefully be engaged during that 90 minutes. Um, it's super important for us to be able to also hear any feedback from you. If you're recognizing like, hey, my girl actually, you know, is, you know, she's really struggling with playing these games. Definitely let us know because we will be able to help support in that situation. Because like I said, this is the first time we're doing this. And so we're growing and changing and adapting. And your candid, honest feedback is extremely appreciated. So thank you so much for doing that. Um, Let's see. Another thing I wanted to point out is that we do recognize that uh, working on a screen can be a little challenging to be able to manage all of those funny little nuances that happen with humans. Um, those of us who have been on screens all the time, we don't necessarily, it doesn't feel the same as being in person, which is exactly the same with working with groups. And so we are making sure that we have an additional adult that's going to be in the room to be able to kind of watch and take care and support the facilitator and the girls um, to be able to make, make the the, um, the program as fun as possible for the girls and they're also getting what they need, right? So if we do have a girl who shows up to the group who maybe is struggling to find something or maybe she is maybe just having a hard day, maybe she just needs a little bit of a check-in, that's totally fine. We've actually arranged to be able to not only provide um, an engaging activity space for the girls, but also to allow for space to be able to, you know, be a friend to a girl, because that's kind of the thing that we do is we not only do really great work with the groups, but also we build amazing mentoring relationships with our girls, because we believe that our girls need as many trusting adults in their lives as possible to help empower them to be those strong, smart, and bold girls or, and women when they grow up. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about the themes. Some of these things you probably already know, we're just gonna revisit them um, every two weeks. You know, we will have different themes. We have four different themes that are gonna happen over those, excuse me, over those eight weeks. Um, our first is leadership and advocacy. Um, that is really going to consist of the girls being able to learn how to be leaders, how to use their voices, how to be able to recognize a situation and advocate for something that they care about in the world and really become um, active participants in making change. Um, it's really about them becoming advocates and leaders in their own worlds, in their homes, um, learning how to take care of their bodies. So there's so many different pieces of that for them to become those strong leaders out in the world. We want to make sure we're building up those skill sets. Um, the next one is be an explorer. I have a feeling we're going to have a lot of field trips during this time, but it's really exploring anything and everything, whether that is exploring an apple that you're eating through mindful eating, or it's going and visiting the Great Barrier Reef. It's really giving them as many different engaging activities as we possibly can give them. And again, we are always open to suggestions because the sky is the limit with this platform. There's so many things that we can do and we've been discovering so many fun things. Um, the next is be an engineer. Uh, of course, there's gonna be a lot of building and making and creating. And of course, we are gonna do our best to supply you with what you need in order to be able to participate in all of those activities. Um, and then be an artist. You really wanna be able to give the girls the space to be able to express themselves in all of the many different ways from, from dancing with Natalie um, or doing art projects and, you know, being out in the garden and so many different things that we can incorporate art into. Um, so, yes, so then every single day, so we do have the themes of every two weeks, and then every single day, Monday through Thursday, will be a theme. 
So that way it's not the same as every, you know, the day before. We really don't want the girls to become bored and we want them to be able to have something to look forward to. So Monday is going to be make it day. So thinking about make it day under maybe leadership and advocacy, what might that look like, right? Or make it day under being an artist. There could be so many things that they're doing. Um, we have Tuesday, be active day. So we really want the girls to be moving their bodies, being active in their own worlds, really giving them the tools that they need to be able to, you know, be those healthy individuals and being active and being healthy doesn't necessarily mean just playing sports. It might be, you know, just playing outside or going for a walk or having a nature walk. So it's really giving them the tools to be able to understand that there's so many things that they can do, even though they're at home um, for the summer. So Wednesday is Grow It, Eat It Day. I'm sure you all can imagine what that looks like. And Grow It could be many different things. We might be growing crystals. We might be growing sunflowers. We might be coming, be coming sunflowers with Natalie. Um, we might be doing so many different things with growing it and then, of course, eating it. So those of you who did get your tote bags, I'm sure you found a potato or two and also an apple. So, or it might be the other way, two apples and a potato. I can't remember. However, those things are in there. There will be activities that are connected specifically to the items that are inside those, those totes. Um, and then we also have Thursday, which is thoughtful and mindfulness day. And we really want to make sure that we're giving the girls the skills to be able to um, take care of themselves, huh. to be able to huh. recommend or they might, they might need, you know, to take, you know, they might need to, I got distracted. <laughs> they might need to um, uh, prepare themselves for the weekend, right? They're, you know, it's like, hey, I'm going to be stuck in my house for three days straight. So what are some things I can do to uh, maybe have some fun? Maybe I can make myself a coloring book to keep myself busy. Maybe I can create a Zen tangle. So there's so many different things that we can do with the girls. So that way they can build an arsenal of fun things for themselves to do. Um, Perfect. So I'm actually going to move on and I am going to let you speak with Sarah a little. Well, Sarah's going to speak to you a little bit about some of the platforms that we're going to be using during this time. Hello, everyone. Um, so, yes, I'm going to chat with you just real quick about the two different platforms that we're using for two different things this summer. So the first platform that we're going to talk about is Class Dojo which is where it's gonna be like a warehouse of information for you. It's where you'll find information about what activities are happening each day, what supplies are needed, um, things that are coming up for the future, reminders of upcoming kind of virtual field trips, things like that. So that will be your kind of one-stop shopping for any questions you might have or things that um, you might wanna know about what's coming up. Um, there'll be places on Class Dojo for girls to ask questions of facilitators if they have them kind of like offline outside of the session. Um, and so we're in the process right now of sending out those Class Dojo invitations. A thing that we have discovered is that there can be a little bit of confusion when there's more than one girl in a family because Class Dojo automatically sends out links and it can be hard to tell which link goes to which girl. So we're working on ways to help clarify that with the facilitators. Um, and you should be getting further information to help out with that. Um, so that's what Class Dojo is. Class Dojo will also be where you can find the Zoom link um, for the group session. So it's really, like I said, a storehouse of information and a way for girls to be able to interact with their facilitators outside of the kind of live synchronous interaction. That's, and we, we did some research and we decided that Class Dojo had the kind of like the friendliest feeling to it, um, and especially for the range of girls that we're serving. So that's the that classroom platform. And uh, then the other thing I just wanted to check in about is Zoom. Zoom is where we are right now. It's video conference service um, platform, and that's where we're going to be hosting our group sessions um, with the girls. So you will be getting a Zoom link and you should just have one link that works for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for the whole summer. So it's not like a, a different link to remember every day or to try and find every day. It should just be one link for uh, your girl for her time for, for the summer. Um, something that's really important to know is that um, Zoom is in the process of um, upgrading its security feature so that there's going to be encryption that's involved. 
which means that everyone needs to make sure that they're using the most updated version of Zoom, at least 5.0 or higher um, by May the 30th. So we start on June 1st. So before the first day, everyone will need to have updated. Otherwise you will have some troubles logging in. It'll ask you to update before you can join the session. Um, so that's an important thing for everyone to keep in mind. We have sent out to all of the families just a little cheat sheet that we made of um, some helpful suggestions for keeping your Zoom secure. We're doing a lot of stuff on our end to keep our Zoom secure, but uh, it's definitely a thing where we need families to also meet us and help keep things secure from their end. Um, and as with many technologies, especially in this time when lots of people are using Zoom, lots of people are on the internet, there are going to be technical difficulties that come up. It is kind of the nature of the world that we're living in right now. And we're just always going to do our best to kind of help you troubleshoot, help work through. Um, sometimes there are going to be uh, things that come up and we might not know the answers right away. It might take a little bit of time to research it. So thank you in advance for your patience as we're all navigating these new waters. Um, and then, so then as later on, we have, um, we'll have time for questions. So if you have questions about any of those things, you can ask. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Sarah. All right. So I am going to talk a little bit about supplies. Um, as Sarah had mentioned, we are using uh, Class Dojo. And in Class Dojo, you will be receiving uh, the day before uh, programs, you will receive a supply list. So just it's, it will be posted, but then you're also going to get um, an event reminder of the supplies that you're going to need for the day for the next day. So just keeping an eye out for all of those different things. We want to make sure that your girl feels as prepared as possible in order for her to be able to have the most engaging experience. So we're going to do our side. We're going to do our part on our side to make sure that the girls are as prepared as possible. And if families, you can help with supporting the girls. Um, some of the supplies that we will have on there will be things that we provided within the totes. And some of the supplies may be things they need to find in your home. And they're typically things that, you know, you should probably have in your home. It might be a cup or it might be, you know, a long stick or it might be a ruler, or maybe a shoestring. Um, so just keeping an eye out for the things that she needs to bring from the Girls in Tote as well as the support that you would need to be providing from your home. Um, perfect. So we actually had a pretty good turnout the last couple of weeks for the chart pickup. Um, we had actually, we had about 30 families yesterday and we had about 40, 45 families that came today. So we do know that we do have some families out there that did not get to pick up their supply totes. Um, so we have actually arranged this coming Monday. For those of you who were not able to get over to pick up those supply totes, you are able to go to our hillside building. Um, we will have some staff that are stationed there who will be handing out supply totes from 10 to 12 o'clock on Monday, so 10 to 12 o'clock. Um, so if you have any questions, just go ahead and let us know. I mean, we really wanna make sure that all of our girls have the supplies they need. We actually have a girl who lives in another state that we actually uh, mailed her supplies today. So it's really about making sure we can have our girls participating and engaging as much as we can. Um, Perfect. We are also uh, going to be emailing you this evening after this um, after this, this Zoom um, with a recording of the entire orientation and also oh. with a calendar with all of the summer events, which will also include for all of the totes. So you'll be able to reference that and arrange your schedule to be able to come in and pick up. We've tried to be very thoughtful to make sure that it's happening from a three to five o'clock slot and from an eight to 10 o'clock slot, just so that way that's in the morning to make sure that um, those of you who have uh, working hours at those different times, hopefully those will be able to work for you. However, we do understand that sometimes things might be a little challenging. So communication is really the most important thing. And, you know, we want to figure out how to make things work as well. So just let us know because that's really, I think the thing that's going to make this whole process work so much easier for all of us. Um, and that's something that we stress in in-person programs, but I think that this is going to be the thing that is the key to our success if we are on the same page with all the things that we're doing. Um, perfect. So, Sarah, I'm going to hand it back to you so you can talk a little bit about these field trips. Okie dokie.
Um, Isabel has something she would like to tell us. So Isabel, I'm going to do my little thing and then I will invite you to, sh to share what you wanted to share, okay? So we um, will be having some virtual field trips throughout the summer and there's going to be a whole range of them. A lot of them are going to be kind of self-guided um, tours of places that the facilitators will lead um, in the regular Zoom sessions. Every now and then there's going to be kind of a special field trip or collaboration or guest speaker. And when we have something really special like that, what is going to happen? Because we won't be able to kind of repeat it three times. Um, what will happen is for that particular day, the whole, um, all of the groups uh, that that facilitator facilitates will meet all at the same time. And sometimes, uh, you know, so we'll try to make it one of the times that already exists. Um, but again, because we're, these are kind of special experiences where we're interacting with a live person somewhere far away, we might have to adjust the timing and the schedule. We'll let you know ahead of time when one of those field trips is coming up so that you know. So there may be occasionally throughout the summer, um, special days when you'll meet at a different time and you'll have a different Zoom link for that special day because it will be at a different time and all of that. Um, but there's, like I said, there's really a whole variety of things. There's museums, there, um, there are zoos, there are places all, all over the world. There's national parks that have virtual tours that you can take. Um, a lot of people, since all of these things happened, have put a lot of really creative energy into fi figuring out ways um, uh, that their institutions can interact with people. So we're exploring lots and lots of different options. So like I said, a lot of the time, it'll just be, um, it'll be a field trip that's during the regular meeting session the same Zoom link, the same time, all of that will be the same. But every now and then there's gonna be a special one where we'll ask you to meet at a different time uh, and we'll give you a special Zoom link for that. So that's our virtual field trips that we have going on. Madonna, can I have Isabel share what she wanted to share? Absolutely. Isabel, what was it you wanted to share? Um, okay. uh so, uh, before, like, the beginning of summer, we, um, my mom had these old tomato bag seeds. So, of course, we planted them, and they grew weird. They didn't grow like regular tomatoes. My mom, my mom me and my mom were wondering. And then, just a, a few, uh, one month ago, we noticed we, did, we weren't growing tomatoes. We grew, <laughs> the whole entire garden was sunflowers. Like we were well, like ninety percent of the garden was sunflowers. Like they were in the in the tomato ba um seed bag. They were living in the tomato seed bag, and for some reason they just grew up sunflowers. That is a, that is so funny, Isabel. Thank you so much for sharing that. <laughs> well, I think you're actually going to be doing some planting uh, this coming summer. So yeah, maybe we'll plant some mystery seeds again. <laughs> Sounds like fun. <laughs> awesome. So, um, so I would like to, before we jump into questions, um, I would just like to say that, you know, as I was saying before, you know, communication is extremely important and we're not going to know if there's a problem unless you all are letting us know. So if for some reason, you know, your girl is getting off a session and she seems off or, you know, there's something that you just don't feel right about. Maybe something happened in a session and you walked by and had a question or maybe, you know, you're just uncertain about maybe an activity that the girls are doing or whatever it may be, or maybe it's even um, a situation that's happening in between two girls that's interpersonal that might even be been happening at school and now it's online. You know, there, those are all things that we wanna know. There isn't a single thing that is a tiny deal. It's all a big deal and we wanna know about it. We want you to share it with us because we want our girls to have the most um, engaging, you know, experience possible. We want them to have fun and we want them to participate as often as they possibly can. So please let us know. Any problem is important to us and we want to know, we want to hear you and we want to support you. Um, 
Yeah, another thing is, is we also, we have some additional spaces. We have continued to register throughout the day. We've probably registered an additional 10 girls and probably will continue to register next week. Um, so that if there are people who are interested, please give them my email, give them Glory's email or Becky's email, Sarah's email, Keely's email, let them know they can shoot us an email. We can um, connect them to the right spots. Um, cause again, we want to serve as many girls as possible. Um, this is such an instrumental time and it's really, you know, we really want to make sure that we are supporting our, our community as much as we can. So if you can do that for us, we greatly appreciate it. Um, another thing is, is as I mentioned, you know, having as many girls as possible, we do understand that you have other things that are happening within your life. And so if your girl isn't going to participate, it's okay. Um, just let us know if she's not going to be there on a day, just let us know. So we're not waiting for her, looking for her, but you know, we encourage families go on a camping trip, go do your thing. We, you know, we will be here waiting for her when she gets back and we'll hope that she will share what she has learned out in the world. Um, yeah. And then of course, like I said, this is a whole new journey for us. And as Kim had mentioned, you know, this could potentially be a way that we're able to serve other people in the community across New Mexico. Um, so if we're able to master how to do this, then we'll hopefully be able to serve more girls in New Mexico and make a bigger impact and create even more strong, smart and bold girls. So your candid feedback is greatly appreciated and what is going to make us even better at what we do. So please reach out to us. We want you to tell us what's going on. We want you to tell us what doesn't work because we want to fix it and we don't want to do the thing that doesn't work anymore. So please let us know. Um, yeah. So I feel like that is all I really wanted to share with you all. I do want to go into questions. Um, I just, I am so grateful for everything that our staff has done and what they've come up with. And I know your girls and you are going to have a great time. Um, yeah, this is, this is really warming to my heart. And I'm so happy to see that so many people showed up for this, um, for our very first orientation. So thank you all so much for being here. Um, so Sarah, how should we go about getting questions? One second, I was replying to a private chat. Um, uh, I think because there are so many of us, um, it would be helpful if people either raise their hands um, or um, type their questions into the chat box. So I'll look, I'll keep an eye on the chat box and um, kind of call out any questions I see there so that Madonna and the rest of the team can answer. Um, and I'll also keep my eye on the, the hands up for the questions. There are a lot of us, so I have to kind of swipe through screens to see everyone's hands. So please be patient. I see that Sharon has a question. So Sharon, why don't you go ahead and unmute yourself and ask your question. Sharon Ann, that okay. is. So before we get started, um, let's just ask that we have parents ask questions. Um, so that way we are able to get through and then we can keep you all on time. And then of course, girls, you write down all the questions you have and we will encourage you all to share those with your facilitators on Monday because we want your parents to be able to go to their next thing because we could be here all night. And I totally think that that would be awesome, but I don't know if our parents would like us to do that. Okay. <laughs> so, um, Sharon, is that what you said, Sarah? Yes. Sharon Ann. Okay. Well, we, we, I, I was telling her the, what the uh, streamlining the process for questions was, and she kind of got a little upset about that. But um, yeah, it's okay. What I was just going to say wasn't a question. Um, I'll, no, I know that I'll come up with questions later on as this continues. I just wanted to say, as this whole point of you um, providing leadership for the girls, um, and you're doing that by creating this platform through this digital summer camp. And I just wanted to congratulate you on getting, getting this together as quickly and as deftly and as, you know, um, I mean, this is amazing. The tote bag that you guys uh, got together, this is the true meaning of having that leadership. And I'm really glad that she has that um, to look forward to as the women in the community who are leading our kids um, and continuing that. So just wanted to say thank you. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for saying that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sarah, who is next? Let me see. 
There is a number of questions in the chat. They're kind of coming a little faster than I can read them. So if other facilitators want to look in the chat and shout things out while I'm looking to see if there are any more hands, that would be I'm super about to offer my help, Sarah. <laughs> oh, thanks, Natalie. Okay. So we have a question from Amy. It says, what kind of space will the girls need or might change day to day? So do you want facilitate, do you want help with facilitators asking, like answering, or do you prefer? Um, I can probably just answer a okay. lot of them and I'll call. Um, okay. Yeah. So for the spaces, we are actually going to be providing information to you um, through the class dojo about spaces if it's any different from what we're normally using, which we're normally using. We need a space where the girls can be present in what they're doing. We want them to be able to sit in front of their screen and be comfortable um, and have a space to be able to participate in whatever the activity may be. So if you, you know, obviously if you're dancing, we want to have an open space. If they're sitting at a table and they're you know, growing crystals, we would like for them to have a table. So, you know, really, if you can just provide the space that, you know, um, corresponds with the activity, that would be extremely helpful. But the main thing is making sure that her computer or device, whatever that may be, is safely um, standing in a way that is not going to get wet, broken, fall, anything like that. Did I miss anything there? Um, I think it, the, there was also the question of it, it might it change day to day. Um, and I think as facilitators, we're doing our best to make sure that whatever we post in terms of what you need, that we're very clear and specific on what it is that that day requires, including, and that is going to change day to day based on our themes, but we're including all of that in those posts. Mm -hmm. that, am I good on that, facilitators? Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Um, what else do we have? So it says, are the Zoom invites, so this question is from Bess. Hello, Bess. Thank you for your question. Are the Zoom invites in Class Dojo um, invites being sent to our parent emails? Um, our daughter only has an SFPS email. Gotcha. Keely, will you, um, we're using the emails, right, that the, we're using parent emails that we're sending things over to. Is this correct? That is correct. We are only using parent emails right now. Okay. Uh, are all we right. good for the next question? Uh, those will actually, um, all of that information should have been sent already about the Classroom Dojo as well as the email uh, with the information from your specific facilitator. However, the Zoom links, those will be posted at the latest by tomorrow evening. Um, as we're working through the land of technology, there's always little bumps in the road that maybe we can't always anticipate. So we're going to say that by tomorrow evening, you should have those links inside your story of the classroom dojo. So you'll be able to click on those links to open up those zooms. And it's going to be the same link actually every single day. All right. Next question we have from Lily. Will the daily zooms be recorded or summarized in case of schedule conflict? <laughs> So we will not be recording all of the Zooms. Um, we have decided that that is just another added piece onto everything else that we have going. So to not complicate things, we are not going to be adding, we're not going to be uh, recording the Zooms. Okay. All right. Um, this one says that uh, with Class Dojo, we are in as a student, but I cannot see any details as a parent. Still seeing only Maribea's regular school messages as a parent. Hmm. Gotcha. So I think Sarah or Gloria or Becky, you all might know this, but I believe that we had to send two different um, links, one for a parent and one for a girl. So you should look for another another email from Class Dojo that's specifically for a parent. So see if you can do that. And if not, um, we can go ahead and get on the phone um, to be able to figure out what we need to do. Um, all right, uh, this, mess, this one is from Julia. If we had a classroom dojo for kids in school, do we need to create a new one to join for the Girls Inc. group? Um, it appears that being like they can't conjoin an existing one to the invite that we sent out. Sarah, Glory, Becky, do you all know anything about that? That's something we'll have to look into further. I'm not I'm not sure how that works at the moment. So I'm making a note and uh, we'll see if I can figure it out. Okay. So 
So this information we'll make sure to email out to everyone. It's probably important. Perfect. Okay, what else do we have? All right, I have, what if we want to socialize with other facilitators that aren't in our group? Um, that is a good question because facilitators actually ask that same question about being able to socialize with girls. So we have talked about in um, figuring out how, well, actually on Fridays, we do have uh, times for facilitators to be able to have one-on-one -on -one check ins with girls for about 15 minutes. So we would be open to families reaching out to the program managers to see if that's something that we could potentially arrange. It couldn't be an every Friday situation, but it could be something that we can arrange, you know, every so often for girls. We also have um, figured out, well, we've also spoken about the possibility of having, you know, all group, you know, all camp dance parties um, at some point. So as we get further into the summer, we're looking into figuring out how we can get everybody on the screen and maybe have someone come in and do like a really fun dance class or, you know, have people engage in those types of fashions. So, you know, as, as best as we can do it, we're going to try. We're going to try to keep people connected as much as we can. That's the whole point. Is the All right, cool. On to the next one, to the next one. Can Class Dojo be done on the school iPad? So, yeah, we, we were thinking that the Zoom can work, however, that is a question. Have has any of the parents actually been able to use Class Dojo on SMPS? Yes. Okay. We be able to access that on the um, Chromebooks that were sent home. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Oh, okay. Um. If we miss the Zoom, will Dojo have the project instructions and detail? The. The Zoom will not, sorry, the Classroom Dojo will not have everything in detail. It's, it's essentially like we do with our girls here at Center. Um, if for some reason they're participating in activity, we don't typically provide all of the details of how the activity works. Okay. Um, if a girl is new to Girls Inc. Um, and they want to say hello to everyone, if there's time for that after the Q&A. There's a new girl who wants to say hello. Is that what we want to yeah, do? Yeah. No. Yeah, we have um, some parents who are new who are new, who are new and they are wondering and it's sorry they're um, where's the race for um so I think that we might be able to at the end uh once all of the parent questions have been answered. Okay. Uh, and then we can give families the option of logging off. Okay, cool. Um hang on Natalie, I have a hand. Okay, go for it. Um, I think it's Erica Vasquez has a question for us. Um yeah. Um, so hi, I, we were given a time, hi Madonna, um, we were given a time for the meetings, like our, for our groups, and I can't make the time because I work now, and my job is from 10 to 3, so I can't make the time because it's near noon. Mm, yes, so, I mean, so Erica, we'll have to reach out to you because I'm uncertain if any of the times will work then. Um, if it's 10 to three or do you have any days off? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you look into seeing if you can get a day off or maybe start a little bit later, um, on one of those days so we can figure out how to keep you part of the group. Cause I know that there's a very special friend that would be sad if you were not part of that group. You mean Angie? Yeah. Or Kim. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I have a question in the chat. How long is the this uh, this meeting? Is this particularly uh, pertaining to the orientation meeting scheduled for? Um, this is from. It, it, I mean, we had it scheduled until five fifteen ish. So yeah, I mean, if there's people that are on, you're welcome to log off if you need to. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Up here that says, "What kind of space will the girls need, or might uh, it change day to day?" Um, Madonna answered that one already. Oh, my bad. I was reading the Zoom <laughs> questions. <laughs> you did a great job, Alan. That, that's what I've been reading off of is the chat. <laughs> awesome. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. Don't I saw see. one in there about there was the opposite of the parent dojo class jo dojo. <laughs> about um, the girls not being able to sign in or they're not 
able to get their girls set up, but they have received the parent information. An important piece we were asking that people have. Yeah, the, yeah, Madonna, Claire, I think um, that was the one where I, where I said, like, they can see, they, they're in it as a student. Oh, loading. We're, we're going to load from the second email. Okay. Okay. Can, I, that was, can I just ex, that that was my question I think Juliet actually got an email to her email address about joining it but it was totally different than the one I got like mine it was just a link I clicked it it set it up hers was like all these choices like join on a device with a camera or a device without a camera it, it, did I just look at the wrong thing I don't know she got it to her email address yeah we sent out two different ones one was specifically to the girl and one was um, to the parents. So you got two invites and I think they are different from each other. So okay. if families provided an email address for a girl, which you don't absolutely have to have, um, they sent it to the girl and then to the parents. And then some families will receive the girl and the parent one in the same email, their own personal email. So um, it seems like your girl received the one specifically for her. So if you can just help support her through setting that up, that would be awesome. Yeah, I'll try. Yes. Like what I'm saying is it was just a totally different process. It was like something about click on this thing with a picture of something. I don't know. I didn't understand. I'll have to work on it more. I just was wondering if I, anyone else had trouble with it because it was like this device have, with a camera or not a camera or like all these weird things and I didn't really understand it. <laughs> I had the I had that same um, that same thing come up, um, Jackie, um, and I had the same question um, because we had to it, it then eventually asked for a um, code, a Google code it, through the choice that I elected, and so I didn't know what that code was to set up. So anyway, yeah, I had the same issue as went through the same process as you. That's the actual question that I was trying to address. It wasn't the other question. So there's a question that is about um, needing a code. And so if you are signing up and you have a school account for your girl, is a school email, what we have found is that that requires a code, whereas a Gmail account does not. And there could be other things that I'm not aware of, but as far as I know right now, that is... <laughs> Like the school oh. email. So I'm thinking just to, just to troubleshoot right, the Gmail. What we are going to do is we are going to send links via email for your specific group. So we'll figure out the classroom dojo because it's what like is the base for? Um, but we will make sure that you receive the Zoom links so that way on Monday morning or afternoon you are able to log in. And then at Classroom Dojo, we're going to continue to work that magic because I think it's going to be some trial and error there, but we'll make sure to send you the links. Does that seem good for everybody? Does that make sense? Yeah? Okay. So we'll make sure that that's taken care of. Cool. And just to also say, it is, it is definitely true that um, the girl experience of getting set up on Class Dojo um, is different than the parent experience because girls have different interactions with the system than the parents do. So girls have more choices to make because they're the ones who are gonna more, um, who potentially are more directly gonna be interacting with Class Dojo. So there, it is definitely true that the girl experience of registering for her class is gonna be different from the parent experience. They're, they're set up differently. Okay, thank you, Sarah. All right, any other questions? I have a question. I don't know how to raise my hand. We got gotcha. you. Um, so my daughter is only six and some of the days I'm going to be working, so I'm gonna have to set it up for my stepdad to help log her in. Is she gonna need access and need to learn how to use Dojo or is that just for me as a parent to see the schedule and stuff like that? Because I can set her up and get her to use the the platform Zoom, but I can't, I don't know if I can teach her how to use Dojo and all that. Right, I don't think he's gonna need to use the Dojo at all. I mean, really, if you can just make sure she's set up in a good space, she has her supplies, and he knows how to click that little link for Zoom, she's yeah. good to go. Okay. Um, 
think the biggest thing for you is just reminding him that being that, you know, she's six and we're not, you know, in the same space with her, that he should probably be in some proximity, uh, being able to see what's happening to support her. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Perfect. Anybody else? Awesome. So, um, Thank you all so much for all of your questions. I actually, I believe we have several friends who would like to say hello, but we should also, maybe Sarah, we have girls raise their hands if they wanna say hi. And those parents who need to go, you are more than welcome to leave. Um, we are going to make sure that we are sending those links uh, through email for the Zoom. So that way you are able to log on. We will continue to assess this uh, classroom dojo. I think it's going to be a great platform. We just got to figure out those kinks. Erica, please make sure that you figure out how you can have a day off. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Sarah, what friends do we have with their hands raised? Because we can give about five minutes of hello time. So we're going to make it pretty quick. Okay. So there, you can like physically raise your hand in your window and I will look and see if I can see you. And I believe there's also a way to like digitally raise your hand um if you go to your name um in the participant thing i think that's where that option is to raise your hand that way but um i see liliana moore raising her hand in her window all right yep. i'm liliana and i'm new to girls Inc. and i wanted to tell you that i graduated from kindergarten yesterday Congratulations! It's so good. Oh. <laughs> All right, Alina and Mom have their hand raised. Hi. I'm Alina. <laughs> her, her first time. She's very shy. <laughs> We're so excited to have you part of our program, Alina. All right, Sydney, Sydney E also has her hand raised. Hello. Hey, Sydney. How you doing? Good. Good. I'm happy to see your face. <laughs> All right. And hot. <laughs> I see Bess Murphy with a raised hand. I just wanted to say hi to to Tay and Zenia. And Bianca. And Bianca. <laughs> I, see, I see Ayla with her hand raised in her window. Ayla Vance. I just wanted to say hi to some of my friends that are here. I noticed Kate and Natalia. And then other girls, even if I don't know them, hello. <laughs> hello. Thanks, Ayla. I see Josie with her mom, Julia, with her hand raised. Hold on. There you go. I hi, just Josie. want to say hi to, to everyone. And if you saw that image, that's because my cat decided to jump in the bed and try and take over the computer. <laughs> Yes, I'm in my room. Awesome. I see Erica with her hand raised again. So I wanted to say hi to all of the uh, people I know, like Madonna and Becky, and Maggie, and Keely, Natalie, Allie, Angie, <laughs> uh, and all the people I know. I just wanted to say hi. So hi. Okay. Hi, Erica. <laughs> and I see Yvonne Sandoval with a raised hand. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> you're muted. Yoli, you're muted. We can't hear you. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Hi. hi. Just hi. wanted to say hi and um, welcome everyone to who's new and um, just Girls Inc. is really fun. Okay, bye. 
<laughs> All right. I think. Is that uh, everyone? I think it is. Awesome. All right. Well, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. We look forward to seeing you all on Monday. Please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you in advance for your patience as we get back to you. And yeah, look for those emails from us. And we'll talk soon. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.